I'm Marty Michelle. I want to show you something about set in seams. For years, I've said, don't try to pivot on a set in seam because I liked the swirl pressing and my seam allowances all going in the same direction at every intersection. But I was making this block called Antique Rose. It's a wonderful block actually from the 20s, but it has been rediscovered and is very, very popular right now. And I was kind of dreading it because each of these units that feature our kite and crown cut template pieces uh, has a set in seam, lots of them. And I was kind of dreading having to do that. Luckily, the first piece that I joined when I was making my little triangle of kites, the first piece that I joined, for some reason, I pressed that seam open. And that was what created the magic of being able to pivot on a set in seam. Now, we've brought this as camera as close as we can to this. I will still exaggerate just a little bit. Now, let me point out, this works on a unit. It does not work on rows, where you're trying to sew a lot of hexagons together and so on. But these subunits that we're making to make the block, it's beautiful. It also means that the first seam is a dot to edge seam, and that is press, the seam is pressed open, and there's a small little opening there. When we set in this piece, I always like to put things right side up the way they're supposed to be, and then fold them right sides together. Um, this piece, the new piece that's going to be set in, has to be on the bottom for this to work. So I'm going to turn this over because what we're going to do is after we've sewn a little ways, we're going to turn this down so that we can see the corner of that kite. And when we can see that and just have stitched off the edge of that seam allowance, needle down, we can pick this up reposition and sew off the edge. So I've started one of those sets in the machine and um, with my quarter inch seam allowance I'm going to stitch and I'm going to pull this out of the way right now and I'm going to stop a stitch ahead. I'm going to lift my presser foot just so you can see better, not because you need to do this when you're sewing. But at this point, I am one stitch shy of where I want to stop. Maybe two, but you see I can see that corner. So let's go back. Maybe I can do, ah, two stitches. And now my needle is down, but only through the yellow fabric so that when I make the next pos position here, I'm going to lift this up, reach under, find that kite, twist this around, and my corners line up, yay, perfect, just like they're supposed to. This gets flattened, and I can stitch right on off the edge. This will just be a straight quarter inch seam. And then when I open, ah, perfect. There is my set in seam. And I will press that one down. And comes down nicely on that open seam. So, set in seams with a pivot are a really nice thing. And once you've done three or four, you don't have to be nearly as cautious 
as I was being when I wanted you to be able to see this on camera. Happy quilting!